If you look at the end of this week's Parsha and it's several scenes in the coming weeks, you'll see Moshe and Aaron going in and out of the palace to have conversations with Pharaoh, Paro, including this week's classic, Let My People Go. But you have to wonder, how are they able to go in and out of the palace? Weren't the Jewish people slaves? The answer is yes, except for one tribe. The tribe of Levi, which is the tribe from which Moshe and Aaron came, were not slaves. Why not? I saw a fascinating answer. Paro's astrologers told him that the future leader, the future savior of the Jewish people was going to come from the tribe of Levi. So he reasoned as follows. He knew that in order to be a Jewish leader, you've got to be uniquely sensitive to the pain of your brethren. So he felt, one second, if I don't enslave the tribe of Levi, then that future would-be savior or leader won't feel the pain of his brethren, so he won't be able to become the savior. So he didn't enslave the entire tribe of Levi. And that's why the Torah tells us that when Moshe grew up, he went out of the palace and he saw his Jewish brethren and he saw their burdens. He felt their pain, developed that sensitivity, which is critical for him to become their eventual leader. And that's why, according to another commentator, Moshe had to spend that brief period of time as a baby in the basket in the Nile, subject to the very real possibility, if not probability, of drowning, like so many other Jewish babies his age had drowned, so that he could feel, thinking back, relating back, feel their pain and be sensitive to it. What's fascinating about this is that Paro realized this. One of the most thoroughly, viciously wicked people in recorded history, the fellow who brutally enslaved the Jews, drowned, killed countless Jewish babies. And yet he realized to be a Jewish leader, you've got to be uniquely sensitive to the pain of others. Shouldn't we realize that as well? You want to be a Jewish leader, you've got to feel that pain and be sensitive to it and want to do something about it. And even if you don't want to be a Jewish leader, you just want to be a Jew in good standing. The requirements for that, top of the list, are sensitivity empathy, kindness, and compassion.